is right in this situation. And don't pay for my food. <laughs> really? You put your phone out? Yeah, really? I put my phone out. Hmm, this steak is so good. That's cool. Okay. If you invite somebody, don't y'all expect them to pay for your food? You Baby, invited me here. Don't you expect it? Like, I don't pay for women if I can't touch them. Y'all look like y'all think because you pretty, I'm supposed to be just cashing my money. The in point me? of the day is to get to know each other. We're gonna know each other. I'm gonna eat, pay for your food, I pay for my own food, right? That wasn't part of the point. When you invited me on the date, I expected you to pay. I don't have any money, and I told you that. You still gonna sit here and eat in front of me? Why would you come to a date with no money? I thought you was gonna pay. You invited me. I didn't make plans. You made the plans. You made the plans. You should have the money. No, you said we should go out to eat. That's okay. Cool. No, no, no. We're going no. out to eat. No, but who slid in who DMs? That's fine. You wanted me. Am I wrong? Am I right or am I no, wrong? I'm just tired of these broke trying to use. No, nah, I'm a. I ain't saying you. I'm saying these broke guys trying to use their money. They but gonna... you put me in the same category as them. I'm not paying category anyway. You need to. You need to. I don't know. I mean, it's still good though. I thought you was playing at first, but you're really not gonna buy me no food. And you're really not going to take me home. Uh, you want me to sit here and stare at you while you eat? I'm saying we having dinner. No, you having dinner. I'm sitting here looking stupid. You ain't got nobody that can cash up your money? No, you. That's why I'm here. With you. You ain't got no money? You coming over tonight? If you don't have no money, you shouldn't be going on dates. Are you coming over tonight? If you don't have any money, you shouldn't be going Let's on Let's be clear. Dates. Just want to why shit. do I want to? No, 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 no. Why should I go to your house on the first date? It's the first Let's Date. Since you want to talk shit, right? I asked you what I asked you. I said, Can we hang out later? You're like, No, I'm gonna go home. I'm a little sleepy, right? You said you're tired, right? Right. I just want to eat. But you're not too tired to eat. No. But you're not too tired to spend my money. No. Okay. Why can't you just, like, come over then? What do you want me to come over for? I can for? get you whatever you want if you want to come over. Come over for what? What you think? No, I don't want Watch to. The movie. It. This is the first date. Maybe the second date. Maybe the third date. I don't want to come to your house on the first date what i look like i mean you already called me i didn't call you this stay good though they're seasoning just right we should get you some i'm good you are pathetic i'm pathetic i'm pathetic but i got money to buy me steak corn uh, you could at least took me home and came back by yourself no you said you, you said you want to go out to eat i thought you had some money it's a problem, man. It's a problem with y'all, man. Y'all think that because y'all pretty, y'all can get the world and just use You can have this conversation by yourself. You can have this conversation by yourself. Uh, well, yeah, man. Do you think the man should pay for the dinner if they are not fucking? <laughs> um, shit, dude. I, I, I can only speak to myself. That if I'm inviting, you know, a chick out, I'm paying. Like, that's just, those are my values, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm the one that's got to take care of everything. I want to take care of, you know, myself and then the people that I love, right? So that's that's my mentality. But it's still, I guess, fair to, 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 uh, to not assume, you know what I'm saying, that, that a guy should automatically pay, um... I think that's fair, you know, um, and I, I I even think that like fucking you don't need to communicate that, you know what I'm saying? You should you should always like even you know for the guy and for the woman, right? Is is that you you should bring your own goddamn money? How the how the fuck do you not bring your own goddamn money? And how do you not fucking bring your own money at 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 thirty? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got other problems, you know what I'm saying? You got other problems you need to work on, you know? So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But you know that that's me, that's me. Everybody's different, right? And this is why you gotta go on dates and get to know people, right? Um, and, and this is why you gotta kind of be upfront. I mean, don't don't you know air out all your fucking laundry, you know? But but kind of you know make make a bold statement because like I think like people like to be very surface level, very you know um, non confrontational, and people want to be liked by everybody. I, I'm I'm kind of like the opposite, you know. Even even at a young age of thirty, you know, what I'm saying I, I need less people in my life. I need more of the right people in my life. Um, and, and you're only gonna find the right people by by being by knowing yourself one, and then by letting people know you know where you stand in life. So that's my take, dude. 
Yeah, I think uh, she's definitely entitled to it. Uh, I don't think nobody owes her any dinner. Unless... Yeah. If they're fucking, you know, maybe he should pay. <laughs> um, That's what he said, dude. What? He's like, I ain't, I ain't get to touch you. So I ain't, I ain't touch you, I ain't paying, dog. Uh, I mean, at the same time, man, like, you know, she shouldn't feel obligated to, like, give out, you know, give her body out for dinner as well, you know? Yeah. It's um, technically prostitution. Um, but, you know, we don't say that word here, correct? Uh, <laughs> Thank you, dude. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I think she feels entitled. Uh, I think a lot of women uh, feel entitled in a way. I think the media is kind of, you know, pointing out that situation and saying, like, you shouldn't feel entitled, even though you you guys are just going out to eat. Especially if you guys are in a romantic relationship. Uh, just because he slipped in your DM first doesn't mean that he's gonna pay for your dinner. You know what I mean? And I think she was the one that asked for for them to go out, right? So I think it was the DM. all right. That's ridiculous. Or, 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 I think yeah, you, you're right. It's the chick. You know, you know that's the thing too. Like people's mindset is transactional. Mm-hmm. People want to be transactional, which is fair too. But you know, this is why like it's weird for me to kind of you know see other people do their life. You know what I'm saying? Because like I do things differently, um, maybe slightly or in some areas, you know, a lot more than others. You know, and then so like, like, I don't know, like, yeah, this this transaction of thing. You know what I'm saying? Because like me and my wife, we we didn't communicate that transactional thing. It's just kind of like we were both kind of committed to love you know committed to make us work and make our future work you know and then having a kid we're committed to make that work you know and then make our marriage work as at the same time because we got married young we had kids young and so we're having to juggle all this shit you know and we're you know at that time too we were financially stupid as fuck too and then so it's just a mat you know the commitment piece is what got us you know to where we're at today and i think i think with people's you know um values uh, is that they're not they're not seeing that long term right or maybe they're not focused yeah. on legacy you know um so. it really depends on the person man because uh you know i've i've met your wife multiple times and she's seems like a person that's more reserved um and like more trustworthy i per se um versus example uh you know a 304 um and they're more likely to go out and and you know do their stuff you with other a, dudes. You said a three you know or four. I mean? Yeah, yeah, three, three or four. <laughs> I never heard that. <laughs> I never heard them uh, put on the spectrum and say, you know, the threes and fours, man. They just no, no. They just hoeing around. Wait, <laughs> wait. You know what? You know what? A three, a three or fours, right? No, I don't. <laughs> Uh, so in the calculator, when you write down three, you put down three o four, right? Oh, three three o four. Yeah, three o four, and on the calculator. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what that is. And then you flip it no, upside down. Okay, yeah. It says whole, I, right? I thought you meant. I thought you meant like on a scale of one to ten. The chicks, <laughs> <laughs> the chicks had the three and the four. They just fucking around. <laughs> No, the uh, the three or fours they uh, they fuck around a lot, and you can tell from the girl, man. I mean, <clears throat> any girl that doesn't mess around is a lot more trustworthy. You know, is most likely not gonna, you know, do other things with other guys. The thing though, right? Is like, how do you know they're like, you know, loose with it? You know what I'm saying? Like, you meet them, you meet them for like a month, right? And then you guys start, you know, you guys decide to date. And then another month later, she's fucking another dude, and it's just kind of like, how do you see that coming? You know, um, I think you can see it um, when you talk because if she, you know, if she's too like dominant or trying to play hard to get, I think that's that's definitely a problem. That's something that's like you're playing you're playing games, you're playing games. You know what I mean? Like I'm not here to play games. If you like me, then just talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Straightforward. Other than like, oh, I'm going to wait two days. Then we reply back to him. That's petty shit. Hey, some really guys like to bad. chase, man. Some guys like to chase, man. And maybe, you know, women with higher values and morals, right? They they 
<laughs> yeah, they like to be on their guard. You know what I'm saying? So there's there's a little bit of that too, man. I think I think you can tell. Uh, you can definitely tell. I mean, especially on their social media too, as well. And if they're like chatting all the time, how they dress too, I believe, says a lot about them. Um, if they go, what they do on the weekends says a lot about them. If they go to family gatherings, are uh, they going to sports events or are they going out and going to clubs? You know what I mean? All these little things adds up to who that person might be in the potential of them. I think, um, that, I think a part of that too, right, is, is, um, knowing their friends, right? I think, I think, um, like trying to just not intermingle, like intermingle with, the people in, in their life, right? I think it's important because then you can kind of tell like what kind of the person that they are by by the, the company that they keep around them. You know what I'm saying? Because the saying goes, yeah. you know, uh, if you hang around four broke motherfuckers, you're going to be the fifth one, right? So that that same ideology, you know, applies to to that as well. Yeah, I, I believe that, man. I believe that. Um, that's why... <clears throat> um, I need some rich friends. <laughs> I'm just, man, um, you don't need rich friends. You don't need rich friends when you can be a gigolo, cuz. You know what I'm saying? You know, I need some, you gigolo need, some gigolo friends. We gotta be some gigolos. Yeah, yeah, network of gigolos. Hitting up if I, if I, if I hang out with even one man, I'm gonna start getting, I'm gonna get married too soon. Yeah. And get kids. Hey, man. That's, that's, that's the game, man. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, man. This is, this is the West. 